the problem Congo is trying to solve is to bring a 150-year-old industry that's still very paper-based into the digital world. So Congo aims to catalyze the commodity trade finance by creating a global network and build a common protocol for all the parties to transact uh, using the same language. That industry hasn't managed to go digital. There's tons of operational inefficiencies. There's fraud, there's mistakes happening, and there's generally a cost of financing that's uh, too high. The industry doesn't manage to evolve. Comgo has been built to solve an industry age pain point. Today, this is not sustainable for this industry, given the globalization, the population increase, the regulatory additional topics we need to face. And Comgo aims at streamlining the digital experience, bringing additional efficiency and security it provides two added values to the industry. The first one is a network of trust. So it is a distributed, decentralized network using blockchain because it brings a massive added value to the industry in terms of what you see is what I see. And the second added value of Comgo is to digitize every product connected to the trade and finance industry. Obviously, if people use Comgo to transact, to input their data, they will be able to trade in a much more efficient way. They will not need to spend their time printing, sending, re-entering data into the systems. And they will also trade on, into a much more secured way. Why is blockchain so important for that transformation? In the world of commodity trade finance, you get some of the large, world largest company uh, participating in the ecosystem. And for each of them, it wouldn't be acceptable to use a third party to do their transactions. And so blockchain, is transformational for uh, the industry because for the first time they can have a common ledger uh, that allow them to operate with a common understanding of the state of transactions without having to share that or without to give up the control to a third party which again is not an acceptable risk for them uh, because of uh, the sensitivity and the value of the information. We chose uh, Ethereum because it's, it's open, an open source technology. Uh, the second reason uh, was that it is the technology that suited more the industry. Ethereum had the ability to um, enter to the global needs of the corporates and the banks. And, uh, and the third reason is, is really this decentralized version of, of blockchain. And the fact that the enterprise uh, Ethereum Alliance has the largest adoption from corporate was also a deciding factor with over 400 uh, global organizations participating in the EEA. The consensus solution is the consulting arm of the company that uh, focus on working with external partners, uh, government, enterprise, startups and consortium to help them build decentralized platform. The consensus solution has the deepest expertise in enterprise deployment, Collider, which is the uh, enterprise blockchain cloud. Before Kaleido, it was taking several, several months before you can launch your own private blockchain network. With Kaleido, now you can do this in minutes. Obviously, when you decide to go on Ethereum, you need to be with the best in class, and I think that consensus is in this position today. Long-term objectives are, are for us to become a one-stop shop. We want everybody to connect to this platform. It means it has to be really integrable to any other platform or user. Uh, we want to be the reference for the commodities industry. Uh, this is also key in our vision and to bring this streamlined uh, digital experience that everybody is dreaming about in this industry.